Good morning, Dringy here. And um, I'm at Portsmouth, waiting to get on the uh, Portsmouth to Con Ferry. Made it in good time actually, today. And I'm off to Paris. Off to Paris today. Which is jolly good. It's so funny because they said that you go to the same place more often than not. Nine times out of ten, same place. This is my first time over on my, on my own into the France. And I've got a different one. This one comes up once in a blue moon apparently. And it must be a blue moon, that's all I can say. Well, it's hot. It is 32 degrees. Well, actually, just sat here in the truck, it's 36. It is sweltering. So I think the plan is to get on the boat, leave the port, take a few photographs, and then um, go and get something to eat. I can still smell that crab from last week. It's all been cleaned out. But I still smell crab. Not good. The last couple of lorries coming off. Oh no, it's loads. Still loads to come. My girl. Whew. Is that a warm one? It's an Irish one there, he's a beauty. Doing a ferry movement, which gives you an hour to get off the boat. Um, I'm actually staying here, so basically, what it means is you have half of your break on the um, on the ferry itself, and then you have another half of your break. When you come off, it gives you an hour to get off the boat. Got to get some half of my hazardous things off as well. And this, on looking my um, boat will just come off, is where I'm going to spend the rest of the night.
Well, good morning to um, four o'clock in the morning. Got to be even worse here because the fair is here, and uh, so it gives the immigrants more places to hike. <laughs> it's bad enough as it is. They brazenly just sit on the walls of people's houses and stuff because there's traffic lights and roundabouts you know it's like just here you know There's, there's a couple there on the uh, south of the wall of someone's house, you know. Well, good morning. It's um, Wednesday morning and I'm still on the National. Going to find my way through <laughs> to the south of Paris following the Nationals. Um, The morning's just starting to come alive. Don't think it's going to be quite so hot today as it uh, has been, hopefully. That wasn't fun yesterday. <laughs> seriously, seriously hot. I must admit, some of the places out here is incredible. There's an awful lot of um, derelict buildings too on this room. It's a lovely leisurely trip though, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, you know. Wow, that sun! <laughs> Just coming down into uh, Everu now, and then we're going to head out for Dreo. Dreo, whatever you want to call it. Ready for you. <laughs> Here's the old television screen again. Talk about catching all the lights. That lady on the little bike has uh, <laughs> gone on quite well, actually. going some well we're getting there we're only about 
20 minutes out. We is getting there. I'm on a National 118. Which is pretty good because I've used very, very little um, payoffs, so that's good. St. Genevieve. This is where I'm going. And I would say it's one of them industrial units on the right here. Do, 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 do. over the roundabout Do a right on this one. This is all new to me as well. <laughs> Now what we're looking for is a blue building precision group. I had a look on Google Maps and it was some something it called something different than that. this orange and white one. Aha, there's a blue building here. See that's number three, which is what's on paperwork. Which is just an empty space. So I think it's um this one here. Automated. Mm -hmm. well, what I think I'll do is uh, play on the edge of safety and just park here and go in and have a look. I'll see you in a minute. Well, I was wrong. It is this orange one on my, on my right. <laughs> I'm hoping I can back in from the main road here. Oh my god, it's warm. How's that one done? St. Genevieve. So Paris. I'm loading stone from um, North of Paris. Way to 
completely de diversion. Directions. Let's have a go at turning right or in the roundabout. Trying to take up as much room as I can.
Right, that was a good couple of hours gone. Um, all loaded now. Believe it or not, I've got nine straps on it, but I've only got two pallets. And then two pallets fills up my entire bed. So, um, Two pallets, nine straps later, I've got uh, concrete uh, tubes on, like water tubes, you know, you put in the underground uh, for even maybe. Wicked. So we're heading back towards Calais. Calais. a boat. Well we seem to have a bit of a problem. Didn't that ever go off with a bang? Wow. That went kaboom. He's even bung blown this one backwards left. Is the heat, as they say. <laughs> Apparently. Good morning, Dringy here. Well, that was a good night. Followed the big explosion and the uh, the big blowout on the A16. Um, we ended up with. I parked up not long after I got going again with half a trailer. Got one mug guard missing, one bent to hell. Lights all zip clipped up. My, my, my rear lights, I've lost two out of three, and I've had to cut all the wires and um, tape them all up so they don't short out. Uh, and a few little bits and pieces. Anyway, parked up, and then the heavens opened up and a big thunderstorm so that got a bit mad but um, I'm now in Calais waiting for a boat we'll be boarding in a minute you can normally tell when the dogs go around the old sniffers you know I've got my mask around my neck just in case I forget my other one, my good one, and then I can, I can just put this one up. Yeah, I'm on my way to Avermouth now with this load. Whole two pallets and nine straps. <laughs> I think they're about six, six and a half meters. Or at least six meters long each each one and they take up two-thirds of the bed width wise you know so uh, yeah go and deliver that lot hopefully and we'll see how we go bye for now Welcome to England. It's a lot cooler, even though it is a muggy 24. Where are 
total. I don't know whether I'm going to get this load off actually, I think they close about four. be a Friday job I think. But we're going to give it a go, that's the main thing. And after all that um, tyre changes and stuff like that happening, um, I'm still missing one thing, a folder, which has got my delivery notes in. I wrote out another one. but. Um, I know it's here, because I was reading it before I went to bed, and then when I woke up, I couldn't find it, so I know it's here, and I've searched through it, but we'll find it, at least we're in Blighty now, that's a good thing. I've had a good shower on the old... Uh, Some breakfast, so it's so all looking good. Oh. Welcome to the UK, Dreamy. <laughs> well. Well, today's becoming a bit of a disaster. The load that I got on for Avonmouth, I got there to tip at 7 o'clock this morning. They close at 4. And um, turns out that um, they can't get it off. Because uh, they normally get it off with a sliding roof. And they come in with a crane and just lift them out. But, uh, they don't have a big four lift, so that was that. Well, this looks interesting. There's a major fire here as well. Oh, la bogged. It's not the boat I was interested in. There's a fun. A big fire seen lots of flames. Anyway, uh, so now I'm on my way to a different place. I know they're going to take it off and put it on one of their trucks and then take it over. Which is good. But it's well, hello, Dringy. Here. Back in Avermouth again. So this is my third attempt now of trying to get this load off, but um, we should be able to manage it this time because we have our own forklift coming on the back of a low loader, I guess, um, from Bridgewater. So I've gone from Avermouth to Bridgewater and now back to Avermouth and then uh, this big forklift, 15 ton forklift is coming down as well to meet me. So this time, with a bit of luck, this uh, load should come off. all good fun and then it's Friday and then the uh, the A30 is closed um, I do believe it could have been a suicide this morning um, I've shut the A30 in both directions um, so even if 
I do try to go home, it was going to be a nightmare. So I could see me being out to Saturday again. But uh, that's just the way the job goes, isn't it? Eh? Got to deal with it. So I'm just waiting for this uh, 15 ton forklift to arrive. I mean, I sh should be able to spot it, okay? <laughs> what a fun sort of day. Oh my God. Well, I'm loaded anyway. And I'm on my way back to Cornwall. Well, good morning to Saturday. I uh, ran out of time. <laughs> I had to do a, a job. I just had enough time to get back to the yard on a Friday night and then they sprung a surprise on me that I had to tip Newquay on the way down and that was that. Ran out of time so I'm in sunny Newquay although it's um, tipping down with rain and yeah you can't see any sky it's all cloud and ugh, grey and horrible but um, I am exactly 15 minutes away from my house <laughs> and half an hour away from the yard and I had to have an 11 hour break. So uh, it is now six o'clock in the morning and I'm leaving at half past six. Cup of tea. I got that wrong, didn't I? All I had was not, uh, 11 hour breaks left. I tried to like do all my France and stuff in a nine hour breaks and so I can get back and get tipped but um and then I bugger myself up at the end of the week <laughs> hey ho but it's um it's not bad so by the time I get home the missus will be getting up anyway so yeah it's not the end of the world not too bad eh Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, please leave a like or a comment or whatever. I do try to get back to people. Um, I've had some really interesting ones re uh, recently. Uh, so some of the comments are amazing. Um, I've had some funny ones too. And um, please subscribe if you haven't. It does help the channel. And leave a like. That certainly helps. And we will catch up with you next week. Anyway, all the best. Have yourself a good weekend. Bye for now.